right, so we're continuing on with our monopoly example, and I want to show you some things that we can do with this equation. We've looked at interpretations of the slope and the y-intercept, and we can also use this line to make predictions about uh, data or information. So if there were a property two spaces from go, there's not, but if there were, how much would it cost? We can use this equation that I have up here in red to make a prediction. So it says predicted cost equals, I want a predicted cost. So again, my cost, I'll put a hat on it to stand for predicted. It's going to be 67.28 plus 6.78 times the number of spaces from go. Well, I'm interested in two spaces from go. So I'll substitute the number two there. And now this is just plug it in on your calculator. Wow, it should be pretty simple for us. So I predict the cost to be $80.84. $80.84. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making predictions. Okay, here's another one. What if I had a property 17 spaces from go? Again, if I want to predict the cost, I simply use my equation. And in the place where I would put the number of spaces from go, I insert the number of spaces. And I got 182.54. Notice I keep using that dollar sign because a cost would be in dollars. Monopoly dollars, but still dollars. All right, let's do just one more of these. Uh, what about 15 spaces from go? Okay, so again, I can get a predicted cost by plugging 15 into my equation. Again, I just type all that straight into my calculator and I got $168.98. You should definitely plug those in, make sure you can get uh, the same answer that I did. So here's something that's a little interesting. There actually was a property 15 spaces from go uh, if I go back to that data set, let's check it out. 15 spaces from go was Penn Railroad. Hey, here it is. There actually was, um, was a property. So it cost $200. But wait a second. I thought it was going to cost $168.98. So what I'm seeing is that there is a difference between my guess, my prediction, and what actually happens. I want to remind you of an important word that we learned a little while ago called residual. That's the difference between what actually happened and what we thought would happen. So observed is actual. This is real data. Prediction comes from my model or my equation. So let's go ahead and calculate the residual here. Okay. I see what it is. The actual value was $200. That's what really happens in the game of Monopoly. I'm going to subtract my prediction that came from my equation or my model, 168.98 cents. So I end up with a residual. I like to call it resid just for short. I just subtract that and I got 3102. That's dollars. So there was a $31 difference between what actually happened and what I thought would happen. That's okay. Remember, my model is not perfect. All right, so another situation where you're going to see residuals. Uh, here's a story problem. Ventnor Avenue is 27 spaces from go, and it has a residual of 9.66. I'm just telling you the residual. How much does Ventnor Avenue actually cost? So I can figure that out by using this formula for residual. I'm going to plug in the pieces I know and then solve. So just please notice how much does it actually cost. That's the observed value. So what I have here is that the residual is 9.66 that was given in the story problem. The observed is what I'm looking for. So I could substitute a variable like x going to be an algebra problem. And then I'm going to subtract the predicted amount. Oh, I don't, I don't have that either given in the story problem. Don't panic. It doesn't 
doesn't need to be another variable. We can figure it out. Predictions come from our equation. We just worked on that. So I can get a predicted cost by simply using my equation. And instead of spaces from go, I put in the 27 spaces from go. So I find that my predicted cost is, I did this, plug this in my calculator a little earlier, 250.34. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in this predicted cost right where it says predicted, 250.34. Okay, so let's not lose sight of where we're going. What I'm looking for is the actual cost. That's this spot right here, the observed. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this equation in blue just to give myself a little bit more space to work. All right, so I have my residual equals the observed. I don't know what it is. The actual cost subtract the predicted. Well, goodness, this is just an algebra problem. This is an algebra one problem. Goodness, let's just add 250.34 to both sides. And we find that X, our actual cost, is $260. Cool. So we can use our knowledge of residuals to kind of work backwards. Now, some of you were probably going, oh, Ms. Curious, that was way too much work. We could have just looked at the data. You're right, but <laughs> some situations you won't have the data. But let's go ahead and verify. If we go back to our set of data, this was Bentonor Avenue, 27 spaces away from Go. The actual observed real life cost is 260, which is exactly what we calculated using our residual formula.